Hi, we're Derek and Jonathan. And we're at Mammoth Cave National Park. Welcome to Mammoth Cave National Park, home to the world's longest known cave system stretching over 400 miles beneath the surface in Kentucky. Here, visitors have an opportunity to hike scenic trails and to explore cave passages formed millions of years ago by an underground river. Mammoth Cave isn't your typical national park. You can't just wander around everywhere. Here, you need a guided tour to truly experience the cave system. And even then, the amount of available tours only covers a tiny fraction of a full cave system. With large groups and very low lighting, recording inside the cave was a real challenge. This is cool. This is really cool. Yeah. The cave is known for its massive chambers and unique formations like Frozen Niagara and Gothic Avenue. These features are the result of millions of years of water slowly carving through limestone, and today, Mammoth Cave is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But it's not just the rock formations that are special. Mammoth Cave is also home to a wide variety of species, many of which are found nowhere else. There are rare blind cave fish, endangered bats, and cave crickets. Look at this little guy. <laughs> now, let's talk about what to expect when you visit. Mammoth Cave offers several guided tours, each with a different level of difficulty. The Frozen Niagara Tour is perfect for beginners and families, with easy walking paths and some of the cave's most iconic features. If you're up for more of an adventure, the Domes and Dripstones or Wild Cave Tour takes you deeper into the cave with a more strenuous route. The Wild Cave Tour is the most extreme tour and requires squeezing through tiny crawl spaces. Naturally, it was our number one choice, but they weren't offering that tour when we visited. And this is actually one of the crawlways on our wild cave tour. Uh, it's so narrow and so tight, we named it the bear hole. But you're probably thinking, aren't bears bigger than that? It's not that kind of bear. It's B-A-R-E, because you feel like you've been stripped bare. Yeah. Yeah. And so, phreatic tubular passage. Check that out if you want to These tours are popular, so you'll want to reserve your spot online ahead of time. Prices range from around $10 to $30, depending on the tour. And trust us, booking early is essential. Yeah, the tours fill up fast, especially during peak season. When you arrive, you'll check in at the visitor center where you can also grab maps, learn about the park's history, and find out about any last minute availability. We opted for the Grand Avenue tour, the longest tour available. After checking in at the visitor center, we boarded a shuttle for a quick ride to the historic Carmichael entrance where the Grand Avenue tour starts. Thank you. Check out bus ride. Once we arrived, our tour guide gave the group a general orientation. Always watch your head, always watch your steps, stay on the trails for safety. Please stay together with our tour group at all times, but also stay close to your family group, especially if we have any junior rangers. Anyone under 16, raise your hand up nice and high. Let's see where's our junior rangers. Hello, junior rangers. Put that hand on the adult that bought your ticket. Can you do it? Good job. Quick list of things we don't allow on any tour. No flash photography. You can take photos, just ask that you turn your flash off. From here, we descended into the cave and began our tour through the cave's massive chambers and along the narrow passageways. Come in. Oh. Oh, it's getting chilly already. It's cold. Oh. 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 I feel like I would hit my head. <laughs> Along the way, we passed some incredible formations. Huge boulders, delicate gypsum flowers, and towering columns. One of the coolest spots on this tour is the snowball room. It's named after the unique popcorn-like formations covering the walls and ceiling, something you won't see on many of the other cave tours. The Grand Avenue tour covers about four miles of cave passageways, and it took around four hours from start to finish. Oh, the temperature inside the cave stays at constant 54 degrees Fahrenheit year-round, so it's not a bad idea to bring some extra layers. We finished the tour by exiting through the frozen Niagara entrance, which gave us a chance to see one of Mammoth Cave's most iconic formations up close before catching the shuttle back to the visitor center. If you're a fan of adventure, history, or natural wonders, Mammoth Cave National Park is a must visit. Just remember, it's a different kind of national park experience. And all of a sudden you're outside, through a turnstile. This is a home of this mountain. Ooh, it's hot outside. So it went from 50 degrees to 80 degrees <laughs> very <Well>. quickly. <laughs> very fast. <laughs> Alright, so, what's your impression? Miles one through three were good. I'm gonna go there full time. Then mile four was like, meh. Then the last quarter mile was like, that was good. Great. Great. It was, um, 
Not as good as Carl's Yeah, so it was just like an adult. Really? Because Carl's got out of self-guided. You can just oh, walk around yourself. Yes. You don't have to wait for other people. And you're not rushed between spots that you There is one of the tours where it's like a very short self-guided tour from the historic <laughs> entrance. Because they really move you along. Really move you along. And it's not the tour guide himself. <laughs> it's, it's the peer pressure from the people behind you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions or tips for visiting Mammoth Cave, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to follow our adventures in real time. I'm get stuck. I'm stuck here. You're stuck crouching. So... This is not going to be terrible.